what's up guys welcome back to another episode of this channel i know your boy said this would be my last trip doing intro crabbing for this season well it has some technical difficulties on my kayak okay my trailer lights were like flickering off and on so it was a no-go anyways today is tuesday i am at ocean beach doing night crabbing so i know some of you guys been you know asking me questions about like you know crabs like dungeness crabs do they eat more at night or morning well today we are doing night crabbing so we're about to find out let's see what happens so for today's snare i'm working with an eight ounce snare all right so for today's bait i'm working with a combination of squid just go ahead and shove that in and then go ahead and add a combination of anchovies because sometimes these crabs they love squid or they like anchovies so that being said why not why not do a combination right Go ahead and close the cage and lock it in just like that. Time to cast in. All right, so I know majority of you guys keep asking me what kind of rod am I working with when it comes to crabbing at the surf. Well, to be honest, anything that's you know above 11 to 12 foot, that's good, man. With a 8,000 size reel. I'm using something really simple and easy. I'm working with a Team Daiwa surf rod. This is a 11 foot medium light with a 6,000 size pen reel. This is a Pen Pursuit 4. I purchased all of these gears at Fisher Supplies. If you guys would love to visit my local bait shop, also tackle shop, I'll put their description down below. Um, for my main line, I'm working with 25P Line Mono. And that's it. That's about it. That's all you need. Alright guys, casting in in three, two, one. Shahoo! Alright, wish me luck. So on this part of the video, I'm just going to constantly pulling crabs, guys, okay? I'm not going to add any cast-ins or long reel-ins. It's just going to be simple, quick, and easy. So, I know some of you guys keep asking me how I'm able to keep my snares in place. Well, I did do a video on how I'm able to keep my snares in place, okay? Um, if you guys haven't checked out my recent video for intro crabbing, make sure you check out that video before you go to this video. I'll go ahead and put that video on the description down below. So after waiting five to 10 minutes, go ahead and fill your rod. If you feel any tension, it's a crab on. And from what I can feel right now, I'm 100% sure that it's a crab on. Go ahead and walk forward while you reel. And then tug away, crab on. There we go. So what I like to do when it comes to pulling in a crab, I let the waves do the work. So when the waves come in, I would reel and pull. If the waves go out, then I would stop reeling and just pull slightly. But yeah, this is definitely a crab on. This is a big one. Sheesh. Come on, I cannot see nothing out here. So I have to constantly keep railing. You see, there's a crab on, and yes, there's a crab on, guys. Keeper, that's definitely a keeper. 
check that out check that out guys keeper dungy baby Chahoo! one on the board yeah it's a keeper mm -hmm. it's uh six and one four one on the board guys it's been a while i've been constantly targeting sturgeon and i finally got one if you guys haven't checked out that video i'll put that description down below so yeah i fought a 54 inch sturgeon on a six foot medium light rod with 20 pound braid so that's the reason why i was like you know slow on my video content because i was targeting sturgeon anyways i'm back to crabbing and here are the results one on the board less than 10 minutes better than nothing all right guys so first pull in first crab this is the second pull in I'm not feeling any crabs. Nothing. So we have to wait another five minutes. All right, so after waiting another five minutes, so basically 10 minutes, let's go ahead and tug on a rod to feel if there's a crab on. And from what I can feel and see on the tip of my rod, I know that this crab on. From just feeling it and looking at the tip of the rod, slightly bent. Oh, it got loose. Ah, oh, it let go. Wait, he's still on. He's still on. He's still on. I'm 100% sure that this crab is on. Guarantee. So what I'm doing right here is walking forward while I reel so that I can minimize you know the real when i have a crab on because for those that has been you know inshore crabbing on a surf you know what i mean man it can be really exhausting when it comes to having like an empty spool and reeling in a crab so my trick is to just walk forward to try to retrieve as much line as i can and then go ahead and set the rod Crab on, there we go. Oh, this is a big one. Keeper for sure, baby. I called it too. Come on, baby. Working with one rod, man. Your boy is still killing it. I don't know, I can't see myself working with two rods, man. It's too much work. Oh, the waves are pushing the crabs in. Right, there we go. We got a, oh my goodness, that's a big one. That is a huge one, guys. Check that one out. Got him on the claw. Sheesh. Check that out. That's a huge one. Man, catching so many crabs at Ocean Beach. I mean, I don't think it's even necessary to do offshore fishing if like you're getting crabs regardless. So this is a six, six and a half. Good size keeper. Chahoo! And it's a male. All right guys, so this is my fourth pull in. And already there's a crab on. I'm like 100% sure that it's a crab on. Yep, let's go ahead and walk forward. Guarantee that this crab on the guys. It's getting rough out here. But I'm still getting crabs, so it really doesn't matter. And three, two, one. Crab on! Woo 
Woo Crab number three, guys. I got this one off camera because my light needed to charge. So yeah. Let's go ahead and measure him. Oh man, he's a good six and a half. Chahoo! Man, to be honest, I don't think I want to do offshore crabbing anymore due to the fact that we're getting crabs regardless. Crab number three. Let's go. Crab on. On, got him. Yes, sir. <laughs> got him. This one ain't going nowhere, baby. There we go. That's keeper number four. Let's measure him so that you guys can know what size he is. So, when it comes to like crabbing for a Dungeness crab, it has to be five and three, four and over. So this one is six and one four. Yep, keeper. Four in a bucket, baby. All right, time to rebate. Oh man, guys, it is getting really, really rough out here. I mean, there's sneaker waves from the left side to the right side, like all over the place when I'm trying to cast in my snare I'm getting constant sneaker waves okay so honestly do I recommend crabbing at night I mean if you have the experience and you go with people sure sure I mean um, it is active but just to play it safe you know if you guys are a beginner into crabbing from you know the surf I suggest you just go during the day and the reason why is because throughout my whole experience crabbing at night, I'm literally falling in potholes at this location due to the fact that I can't even see nothing out here. So yeah, um, it's best to go early in the morning, go with a group of people, and if it's your first time, do not put on any waders. Um, if you guys want further information on how to crab at the surf here in Ocean Beach, make sure you guys check out all of my videos, my recent crabbing videos for this season, okay? I'll put all of that description down below, okay? It's very informational and, you know, it can help you catch a couple of keepers or maybe even limit out. Yep, crab on. 100% sure that this crab on. Up. Oh man, we might have double. In three, two, one. Crab on, baby, let's go! Heck yes! Oh man, it's getting active. It is getting active. Okay, we gotta take it slow. This might be crab number number five. Come on. Oh my goodness. I can't believe my reel isn't breaking yet. Come on, baby. I'm literally out here alone, guys. Like, there's nobody around me. It's pretty scary. But it's all good, as long as I don't go in the water, everything should be fine. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. Hopefully I don't lose them. Come on. Oh ho ho. Might be double the trouble. 
Come on, baby. Give Papa number five. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. Guys, I think we might have something really huge. Oh, we got, we got two crabs on. Oh, we got double. Guys, we got double crabs on. Oh my goodness, I knew it. I called it. Wow. Check that out. Oh man, this might be a little bit short. Let's measure him, just in case. Oh, we got a keeper. We got a keeper. This is six and one four. Keeper number one and keeper number two. This is six and a half. Chahoo! Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Check that out, guys. Heck yes. We got six crabs. Yes, sir. Both, both male. There we go. Mother Nature, help me. Give me the strength to pull in this crab. Oh, he came off. No, there he is. I got him. <laughs> Woo. This is the keeper. <laughs> yeah, crab number seven. Oh man, that was a close one. All right. Man, these crabs are massive. Oh yeah. We got six and a half. Man, that's a nice size one. And it's really, look, really tough. The shell is really tough. That's how you know that this is full of meat. Oh man, we are about to have a full bucket. That's crab number seven. All right, let's go ahead and repeat. This is going to be exhausting. In three, two, one. Crab on! <laughs> Crab on, baby. Let's go. Let's see how many inches. We got six and a half. Sheesh! Six and a half with one claw. Man. Let's see how many crabs we got so far. So, this is seven in a bucket. Eight, baby. Two more crabs to limit out. Can we do it? Oh, he's definitely on there. And three, two, one. Crab on. Crab on, guys. Yes. Check it out, guys. Crab number nine. I got this one off camera. My battery's dying. This is six and one four. Keeper. One more to go, guys, and we hit our limit. There's a crab on. Your boy is about to hit his limit. Yep, there's definitely a crab on in three, two, one. Chow, baby! I'm about to hit my limit! Let's go! Heck yes! Come on. Come to daddy. Come on, baby. This is like the quickest limit I've ever experienced in my life. Oh my goodness. There's no need to go offshore crabbing for Dungeness crabs. We can just go to the surf. Come on, please do not pop off. Oh, there he is. Yes. Yes. And there we go. We just got our limit for this season, guys. Oh, man. We got our limit during day shift and grave shift. 
man that was quick that was super quick anyways it's time to pack things up stick around because we are going to do a count when we get home calm down is it a keeper yes sir we got a keeper man this is six and one four we just hit our limit that was like the quickest limit I've ever experienced in my life. Less than two hours. So like, the other hour I was here, I was with my friend Dat, and he left like an hour ago. And I stayed out here for one hour by myself, nobody here. I was kind of scared, but you know, I did it. Anyways, time to pack up. All right guys, so I just got home and here's my catch. So I got one. Ooh, I'm gonna get punched by these guys. Two. Three. Whoa, four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Man, honestly, this was like under two hours, man. And there you go, guys. Limits for this opening season of Dungeons Crab. This was like the fastest limit I've ever had in my life. Under two hours. I mean, I'm sure you guys can do better, but hey. Whew. Can't believe it. Anyways, do crabs eat more at night than day? I mean, honestly, to be honest, man. I don't want to lie to you guys, but at the same time, I don't want to put my viewers life at risk due to the fact that crabbing at night can be very dangerous. Okay. I mean, today experience was an eye opener. Okay. I was out there alone. Nobody was near me, like not even a person in sight. So yeah, um, every time when I was like walking into the surf, I kept falling into like these potholes and I kept like, you know, encountering like sneaker waves. Like it was hitting me from the right side to the left side. And to be honest, I had to call it a day, but the crabs just kept constantly eating. I mean, I couldn't stop myself. Anyways, your boy was able to get, you know, his limit in time before, you know, um, that incoming tide. Um, I was blessed that I did it less than two hours. The answer you guys been waiting for is that should you go crabbing during day shift or night shift? Like which one is better, night shift or day shift? I mean, honestly, I got, I got to give it to night shift, man. Night shift was like the best experience I've ever had in my life. And let me tell you, when I was walking at the surf, you know, I've kept stepping on crabs left and right dude like everywhere i was walking i kept kicking crabs like i'm i'm not talking about shakers i'm talking about keepers but i wasn't able like to reach for them because like i said there was nothing but sneaker waves like hitting from the right side to the left side and i wasn't going to risk my life i wasn't going to like risk myself getting wet because you know a couple of days ago i was sick so i'm not trying to you know catch another cold anyways um yeah um if you guys do decide to go during a night shift one of them Dungeons Crab, make sure you guys don't go alone, okay? Again, if it's your first time, do not put on waders. Um, also, I highly recommend that you guys check the tide prediction, the swells, and the weather, okay? I'll pop up the swell prediction, the tide prediction, and the weather prediction. Make sure you guys check all of those predictions before you guys head out, okay? Because safety is your number one priority. So yeah, here's all of the catch. 
I mean, these are a good size Dungeness crabs. When my mom wakes up and she sees this, she's going to be really freaking happy. I mean, wow. We limit out on day shift and grave shift. I mean, grave shift was pretty quick. Day shift was a grind. So I'm, I'm gonna have to go with grave shift, man. Grave shift was the most epic experience I've ever experienced in my life. Anyways, I'm about to go ahead and call it a day. So if you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, until next time.